What's up everyone? It's the Fierce Zilla here. And today we are going to take a look at of the new Bandai Japan Movie Monster series. I guess you would say the newer mold of Destroya. And again, before we begin, if you aren't subscribed and you're coming back here on a regular basis to watch the videos, why not go ahead and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on seeing a video when I upload. All right, everyone, without further ado, let's go on ahead and take a look at this Destroya figure. And to start off, let's see about the articulation on this newer mold of this destroy a figure. So, destroy a. Okay, so definitely right off the bat, arms do not rotate as we are familiar with the Bandai creation figure, the arms do. Okay, but now let's check the legs. Ooh, okay, the legs. Uh, ooh, problem here is that when you do try to rotate it all the way around, just make sure the arms carefully. There you go, separate it and continue. All right, let's go ahead and we can do it. We can do it. We're almost there. Whew. All right, we made it. Uh, pretty much the same thing on the other side of what I just did a few moments ago. All right. What about the head? Hmm. Huh? Huh? Okay. Nope. No movement at the head. All right. How about the tail here? Ooh, very nice. Very nice. Huh? Huh? Come on. No, okay, yeah, that, that tail doesn't move. As you can probably see right here at the seam to where I can even see, not sure if it picks up on video, but I can see a little bit of a, I guess, the glue residue. So again, probably a good reason why they glued it together. Probably a body part that come, that holds together. Might be a little bit loose if it was not glued together. All right. One last thing we're going to check now is the wings. And, ooh. All right. So the wings can rotate. Okay, yeah, probably not the same time to do a full rotation, but probably just do it one at a time to rotate. All right, there we have it. As far as articulation goes on this figure. So now for the texture and the characteristics of this Destroya figure, as well as the paint job. So again, as I mentioned before, with the Bandai Creation Destroya, has a very sharp, evil look to it as well. Destroya was definitely, at its time, one of the very ferocious and deadly enemies to Godzilla. And as I said about the sharp sharpness of Destroya, so he's got the sharp toes, the sharp knees, sharp hands, and a very sharp looking face, and a very pointy head there, and some very pointy shoulders, and a claw like tail to grab enemies 
and carry them up to the sky or at a high distance and then drop them. If you know what I'm talking about there, if you've seen the movie Godzilla vs. Destroyer. So sad. But anyway, like even tr the backside here, it feels, it just feels right. <laughs> kind of like an armor side, like how for some animals, how it's kind of like, uh, I don't really want to say scale like, but in layers, I'll say in layers how there's always one on top of the other on top of the other and it just goes on and on and on to give it that good texture for destroyer a good feel of it especially for a figure but also one more thing to, to mention here is that you'll see the very tiny wings that Destroya has are now part of the figure instead of being loose to where you could rotate them like the Bandai Creation Destroya. But here, they decided to mold it together with the body instead of having it open out. And I think with the Playmates Destroya figure, I think you have both the big wings and the smaller wings sticking out. But I think this one so far, as far as being the latest destroyer, I think this, as far as as far as I know, again, as far as I know, is probably one of the very few figures that I know that has the destroyer tiny wings, literally part of the mold of the figure, instead of being like a piece where you can rotate it. Hmm, interesting. Now, as far as with the paint job on the figure, definitely gives off a very... of a shade of a maroon color for the main base of the body, and then red on the wings there, and a little bit of that yellow and orange throughout the... On the face and on the chest. And then I believe a little bit of like. I want to say like golden like eyes there. And a very mix of. A little bit of like that white and gray throughout the shark points on the knees and the feet and the hands there. And also with with the face, the white teeth and those, these parts right here. But okay, everyone, I think that's pretty much going to cover all aspects of that on this Destroyer figure. So why don't we go on ahead and move on to do a size comparison right now? All right, everyone. So here with the Bandai Japan Movie Monster Series Destroya, right next to it, we have the Bandai Creation Destroya figure. And you can very much see the differences and maybe similarities between the two figures here. Now, as far as the height goes, Bandai Creation is bigger than this. Bandai Japan Movie Monster Series Destroya. And the colors are also, yeah, pretty much so very different from each other. In the way of how their postures are, are also different as with Bandai Creation, the Destroya, its head is looking kind of tilted. Of the head posture and then this destroyer this one i mean is looking more 
head faced direct on looking at something and the tails. The tail here is curved up. The tail there is almost looking like it wants to be curved up, but it's much more not flat to hitting the floor, but much lower and not curved as much as this destroys tail is. But all right, let's go on ahead and take a look at another figure. All right, so now here we have Destroya next to a Bandai Creation Gigan 2004 figure here. And as you can see again, this Destroya is probably going to be a bit smaller in comparison to other standard figures that you already have. Yep, definitely a major height difference there. But okay, let's go on ahead and take a look at one last figure to compare with the Destroya figure. All right, and here now, to spice things up, now we have the Bandai Japan Movie Monster Series Destroya figure next to, again, one of the new figures from Playmates, part of the new wave that just released last week here in California. And I believe now they're starting to pop up in other states. And again, this Godzilla here is the 2014 version, but on the packaging, it's referred to and named as City Destruction Godzilla with Tank. And again, you can find most of the new wave of Playmates figures at your local targets. And likely where you'll probably find them most at is in the back near the, near the electronics section to where you'll see that wall of collectible stuff if you know what i'm talking about there but if you don't just make your way to the back to where the electronics are and you will see up at the top somewhere where you'll see images of other collectors items at top how sometimes they have pictures of either godzilla stuff star wars stuff other or Funko Pop stuff. Or if you even know that too. That also. That shelf is like. Having a lot of other collector's items. But also kind of all of. Their own. Funko Pop wall. Of shelves there. But anyway. In other words. That's just to give you an idea. If you're on the search of. Also needing to know where exactly you can find those figures at your local target. Because if you just search in the regular toy aisles, chances are they're not going to be there. And if they do, they might have them maybe at the end of the aisle, like how when you walk to the very end and they have stuff at how you have two sides and then you have another uh how can I say this to where say this is one aisle you have the wall right here then you have another aisle so the walls in the middle but right here and then right there at the other side there's also another shelf there's more shelves that has more stuff there but yeah definitely more likely again you'll probably find it in the back in the shelf of collectible stuff there next to electronics section so definitely start looking and try to see hopefully 
if you'll come across them soon, sooner or later. But, yep. So, just looking at it, at this figure to compare with Destroya. Even with that, I say that's an interesting size there. And ironic that he has the color scheme of Burning Godzilla as to where either this design is from that 2014 poster version of Godzilla to where if you're familiar with the Godzilla 2014 SH Monster Arts for that one they had an all orange Godzilla there so I don't know if that's where they got the idea to make this one or if it's just to go on theme with hence city destruction where there would be flames and all It'll be interesting to see how 2014 Godzilla would match up with Destroyer. But, okay, let's go on ahead and pass this along to Fierce Still Jr. and see what he has to say about this Destroyer figure. And we'll do that right about now. All right, Fierce Silla Jr. As you can see here, we have the Bandai Japan Movie Monster Series Destroya figure here with us today. And what are your final thoughts on this figure? <laughs> then okie dokie uh all right everyone i guess that is gonna be it then for this figure review and again don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you don't miss out when i post a new video and let's see what else we got coming up so Hmm, okay, so definitely tomorrow, stay tuned for another Fierce, the Fierce Zilla vlog. And for that one, it will also be another Toy Hunt vlog. So if you don't want to miss out what I come across in the vlog, that I'll upload tomorrow. And maybe post one other video. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. See. We'll see how things go. But. Yep. That's pretty much going to be it for today. And what I have planned for the rest of the week. And if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget. If you enjoyed it. Go on ahead. And leave a like. And I'll keep on. Making. Awesome. And hopefully, better videos for you all to enjoy. And again, also too, just want to say thank you all to who are subscribed. And I would hope to, again, like I said, trying to work as best as I can at some point down the road. Seeing what improvements I can make to make it enjoyable for all of you. That are watching but also too as we are approaching almost 800 subscribers and i'll leave this as a little hint for those that stuck around to the end of this video i will also announce something tomorrow on the vlog in regards to what our goal for leading up to a thousand subscribers will be and what that means for you as a subscriber. So, 
definitely now, you don't want to miss out on tomorrow's Fierce Zilla vlog. All right, everyone, for sure, for sure, that's going to be it for this video. And we will see you all in the next one. Hope you all had an awesome day or night. And hopefully, too, you are successful in achieving to find the figures you are looking for.